Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. So today I wanted to take a look at CyberGhost, give you guys a little bit of a review just to help you figure out whether or not CyberGhost is a good choice for you and your situation. So I'll be looking into things like the overall performance of the application, if it's compatible with other devices, whether it actually gives you access to streaming services or not, is it compatible with torrenting also, and so on and so forth. We'll get into all of that. And of course, if you're interested in going straight to the pricing or discounts, you'll find a link in the description down below that should save you quite a bit more than what you would normally get if you went directly to the website. Okay, so I know most people that use VPNs end up using it for streaming or torrenting, and you can rest assured with CyberGhost because you've got dedicated servers for streaming, torrenting, gaming, and privacy. Now, the dedicated IP is actually a paid service, and that'll give you your own IP address that nobody else can use, so that's an option if that's something Thing you're interested in but what i like about the streaming list here is let's say i want to access netflix so i can just look up netflix and it'll give me all of the netflix servers that work with netflix or the ones that are optimized for netflix at least let's say i want to watch hulu and I don't want to figure out where Hulu is available, right? I don't want to have to look that up. I can just look up Hulu on the CyberGhost application and it'll give me all the Hulu websites. Now, if the streaming service is not available on this list, it doesn't mean that CyberGhost can't access it. It just means that you might have to go to the regular servers and pick one of them if the country that you're looking for is not available on the streaming list. But nonetheless, this is just such a cool feature and I definitely never saw this feature in any other VPN besides Cerbigo. So really cool. And for torrenting or gaming, obviously that doesn't work because you're not necessarily accessing specific services. But regardless, you do have servers or a list of servers that are optimized for torrenting and peer-to-peer -peer activities. Now, if you're wondering, you know, if you're going to torrent, you probably don't want anybody snooping on your activities and you want to make sure that you're secure because if you didn't know, anybody that's downloading the same torrent will be able to see all the IP addresses that are downloading that torrent. So if you don't want to expose your IP address while torrenting, you definitely want to use a VPN. And so these are the optimized servers for torrenting, but you can still use the regular servers. Now for gaming, this is also great. It gives you ping and the distance because the closer the distance to your game server, obviously the better. So what you want to do is if you're going to use a VPN for gaming, you want to make sure that you're connected to the VPN server that is closest to the gaming server to make sure that you get the best ping possible. And what's really cool about uh, CyberGhost is that it just gives you the ping so you can, you know, right away figure out which server gives you the best ping. So for me, as you can tell here, it would be best for me to connect to French servers because, well, as far as location, I am closest to France than New York, for example. But I'm still getting pretty good ping considering that New York is 9,000 kilometers away. This is still very good performance. So yeah, these are definitely good servers to game on. You've got about 10,000 servers servers, by the way, in about 100 countries. So yeah, the full list is plentiful. And as far as reliability and consistency, CyberGhost, I would say, is very reliable, though there's one thing you want to make a note of, which is if you select the WireGuard protocol, you might not be able to connect with some of the servers because not all the servers are optimized for WireGuard. And WireGuard is the fastest protocol that you always want to use. But unfortunately, with CyberGhost, you're probably better off just going with the automatic selection because oftentimes I found myself not being able to connect to a specific server just because I'm using the WireGuard protocol. Now, I would understand that you want to use the WireGuard protocol at all times, again, because it's the fastest protocol. But in CyberGhost's case, unfortunately, because there are so many servers, there are bound to be some servers that are just not compatible with WireGuard. And it seems like CyberGhost themselves haven't really optimized all the servers for WireGuard. So that's just something you might have to deal with, which results in sometimes slightly slower connection. But I do have to give it to CyberGhost because they're very consistent 
at accessing streaming services and other services that may not be available in your location, not just streaming services. And it's also quite a bit secure. They have recently had an independent audit report. CyberGhost was not one of the VPNs that I expected to be audited, but surprisingly, they did get audited. And it's always good to see these audits because in a way, it does certify that CyberGhost is a legit VPN that cares about their uh, users' privacy. And so whenever you see a VPN that is audited by independent auditing companies, it's always a good sign. And in this case, I actually appreciate the audit here, considering that CyberGhost is actually one of the VPN giants that were a little bit late to the auditing party. So overall, I would say CyberGhost is actually one of the better VPNs out there. It's a budget VPN that honestly doesn't really give you much as far as features. I mean, you've got exceptions and app rules. For example, exceptions will allow you to choose the websites that you don't want to pass through the VPN tunnel. So any website that you add here, will not be affected by the VPN. So that's a useful feature that can be useful. I can't imagine too many people using it, but again, this can be useful. For example, if uh, I were to use this feature, I would put my bank account website there so that when I access my bank account online, they won't think that somebody might be trying to access my account from a different country and potentially restrict access temporarily. So there's definitely something that you want to be careful of when using VPN and exceptions can be useful in a situation like this. Now, app rules will make CyberGhost launch and connect to the VPN server automatically when you choose the application. So what I like like to do is for example set Netflix here I'll just choose but I mean I don't have the Netflix application but I usually go to Netflix through Chrome so I would just add Chrome here and whenever I wanted to watch Netflix I don't really have to interact with a VPN I can just launch Chrome and it'll connect to the Netflix US library right here without having to interact with the CyberGhost application itself, which is a really cool feature. But again, not something that is entirely groundbreaking. But overall, I mean, if you're looking for a budget VPN that allows for seven simultaneous connections, it's great for streaming and torrenting. And you can rest assured, nobody will be able to know what you're doing online as long as you're connected to CyberGhost. And despite not having many features and the WireGuard protocol not exactly being optimized with all of the servers that are available, which makes having 10,000 servers kind of almost pointless because once you cross a couple of thousand servers, it just becomes too much to maintain and 2000 servers for the most part are enough for most VPNs really. So this is honestly one of my only critiques of the application. Otherwise, I think CyberGhost is a great VPN if you're looking to stream, torrent or secure your devices at a very low budget without having to give up on access to premium servers like we have here with all of these optimized servers. So that'll be it for this video. Again, if you guys are interested in CyberGhost, you'll find a link in the description down below, which will save you a little bit of money if you end up getting CyberGhost. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.